Good evening, Everblades fans, and welcome back to Hertz Arena, the third of three meetings between the Florida Everblades and the Savannah Ghost Pirates here for Blackout Night on a beautiful Saturday night in sunny southwest Florida. Everblades have won the previous two meetings, including a 4-0 shutout win yesterday over the Ghost Pirates' Cam Johnson, 33 saves, and a pair of goals for both Logan Lambden and Bobo Carpenter leading the way for that one last night. But here tonight, two of those three guys are not going to be playing. First off, Evan Cormier gets to start for Florida. He was in the crease when the Blades won on Wednesday over Savannah in that 3-2 overtime win. And Logan Lambson out of the lineup tonight. So different guys are going to need to step up for the Blades offensively. As Lambson, he's been on a heater recently, had goals in four of his last five games heading into tonight. But tonight, he won't be available in the Blades lineup. Blades running with 10 forwards and 7 defensemen tonight. Creates a different look. Different line combinations are going to be used by head coach Brad Roth to try and secure a third straight win against Savannah, which is always tough. No matter the caliber of team, winning three in a row against a single opponent is a tough task. And the Ghost Pirates are going to be motivated tonight, even though last night was the official end of their playoff hopes following the Stingrays getting one point in their overtime loss against the Orlando Solar Bears. Guys are still playing for jobs, expanded roles next season, and trying to build a winning culture akin to what we have down here in Florida. The Ghost Pirates see the Blades as a team to emulate, and they're trying to show that they can play hard even when there's nothing to play for so that they can set in place the foundation for something special next season for their club. Special teams have played big for Florida over this series. Yesterday, Florida had six power plays, including four in the first, getting one goal on those six-man advantages and only taking one penalty in that whole game yesterday. The Blades, they love to play with discipline when they have less penalties than their opponents. Their record is sparkling this year, and it just allows them to control the pace of play like we saw last night. So expect the Blades to be trying to play with some discipline and take advantage of their power plays like they have previously in this series against the Ghost Pirates. Three keys to the game are presented by the Angela Griffith Group of Downing Fry Realty. First off, you got to get a fast start. Yesterday, Savannah came out cooking with six shots compared to one for Florida through the first five minutes. They were all over the Blades in the opening few minutes of yesterday's first frame. Look for Florida to try and flip that here tonight. Second off, you want to shell Jordan Paperni as much as you can. This is his third straight game being ran quite a bit right now because of injuries in the Ghost Pirates crease. So it's a goalie going into his third game in four days. Get on him early. Take as many shots as you can and force him to really work. And then finally, you want to play physical. Yesterday's game had some chippiness in it. Some nastiness. Guys like Chris Ortobody and Kyle Newber always leading the way in that regard. But look for everybody to get involved in the final game between the Everblades and the Ghost Pirates tonight. Florida Everblades and the Savannah Ghost Pirates, the third and final meeting in this week. Final meeting between these two clubs at Hertz Arena this season. Puck tonight, drops and warm-up coming up next.